Hello everyone, it's beautiful June 1st. Unfortunately, I didn't go do any ammo hunting or any ammo uh, update. Unfortunately, I was busy doing some editing. But you guys remember last weekend we went to the shooting range. I took my buddy Rodolfo. It was his first time going out there and um, first time handling his handling any kind of firearm. And uh, he did pretty good. <coughs> he did pretty good actually for a first timer. We shot about about I want to say we shot maybe about 30, 60, maybe. 90 rounds of 223 maybe 60 rounds because I ended up with only two empty mags and then we shot about 50 rounds of 9 mil so today he called me over to go to his shop and uh, he gave me a gift which I didn't expect this is what he gave me he gave me that and he gave me two boxes of this this guy went out he went out today and found two boxes of 223, 50 rounds each. These are 50 round boxes. <coughs> Fayachi, Fayachi, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Yeah, he went out today and found Fayachi 223 ammo. And he was like, yeah, this is a gift to you for taking me out. And uh, I was shocked because I wasn't expecting him to find ammo. I'm not sure which one I'm more shocked. The fact that he found 223 or the fact that he gave me ammo. It's very nice of him to do that. But uh, special thank you to Rodolfo. He gave me two of these boxes. I never shot these before. <coughs> I, uh, let me go ahead and open them up. <coughs> oh, they're nice. I like that they come in a little nice cartridge. You gotta smell it. You gotta taste it. No, don't taste it. These are really nice, actually. Yeah, these are really nice. They come in a little nice cartridge. For a lot of people that reload, um, I highly recommend you guys save these so when you reload, when you're done reloading, you can put them in a little nice box and keep track of how many reloads you've done. So yeah, these are really nice. First time seeing these ammo. Never heard of this brand before. I'm not sure who makes it. Since 1876. Yeah, I haven't, and during my whole ammo hunt, I have never found these guys. And I asked him where he found them. <coughs> Yeah, he said he found them at the sportsman's warehouse on the diamond. So I think he went there today. I'm not sure if it was today or whenever. But if he if he went today, then that means there was ammo today. So we're gonna go ahead and load them up. I checked my um uh, I checked my gun bag from last weekend, and I only ended up with two empty mags. So I think that's I, I thought we shot more, but we ended up shooting only two mags. But here's the interesting story. Um, Rodolfo he does auto body shop. And he also buys auction vehicles. So last month he called me over. He's like, hey, I bought an auction vehicle. And when I was going through the back trunk of it where the spare tire hut is, um, he found this one. He found this one in a auction vehicle. And uh, he found this PMAC 30 and it has some number here. And it had about, I didn't check how many rounds of ammo it had, but it had about maybe, it wasn't a full mag. I, I wanna say it was maybe about 20 or 25 rounds in here. So we actually, the last week when we went, we went to go shoot, we were actually shooting the, um, the one that he found. So pretty interesting, right? So make sure if you have, a, if, you, if you're buying an auction vehicle, make sure to check the vehicle. You might find yourself some magazine. But this is my, uh, yeah, this is my easy, uh, this is my mag Magnula. And we're just gonna go ahead and load these up right here. <coughs> this is a speed loader, they call it. It takes a bit longer, but it's it's, it's uh, easier on your hands. You don't want to mess up your beautiful fingers and nails. This is how you do it. So 10 rounds, and you, you flip this over, just like that. If you're loading up a lot of ammunition, or you're loading a lot of your, um, of your magazine, I highly recommend you guys buy one of these. I keep all my magazine loaded um, whenever I'm at home or whenever I'm not shooting I don't ever have an empty magazine because you never know when it's time to do something and uh, Boom, it's time to get your stuff and hit the road So I always keep all my magazine loaded if something happens like let's say for example Let's say a riot happened or a dangerous situation happened And um, you need to use your firearm to protect yourself and your family Well, guess what? You're not gonna have time to load up. Oh, I just dropped one down there I'll grab it in a bit. Yeah, you're not gonna have time <coughs> to uh, <coughs> load up your stuff, so I recommend you load up your stuff. So that's 30 rounds right there. 
this thing like that, like that, clips on like that. I didn't ask him how much he paid for this, um, but that's none of my business. But oh, that's awesome, man. I guess that's good, man. I guess if you, uh, I guess if you're a new shooter and somebody takes you to go shoot, I guess it's always nice to, you know, buy them some ammo back if you can. I know during this time here, <coughs> it's really bad, but uh, it's always nice to do that. I wasn't, I didn't expect him. I, didn't, I don't, I don't expect him to. Uh, pay me back or anything like that i want to just take him out there and go shoot whenever i take you guys to go shoot with me i don't ever expect you guys to uh buy me ammo or return it back um unless you're asking for me to take you to go shoot if you're asking me to go take you for a shoot then yes i might require you to bring your own ammo but if i ever invite you if i ever invite you to go shoot with me um and you don't have a firearm or whatever the case may be i don't expect you guys to um, pay me back or whatever so i think i'm just gonna keep this box here i don't reload anything but i'm just gonna keep this just for the heck of it rifle shooting dynamics this is 223 and again this is 223 uh 62 grain full metal jacket this is 62 grain which is pretty good normally the target shoot range like the cheap one usually they're like 55 grain or something along that line so these, I think these should be some good ones. The, uh, the brass is also really nice. It's not dirty or anything. Yeah, it's really nice. <coughs> I think that's dirty right there. Yep, that's dirty. So that's 60 rounds. Lock and load. So I just want to do this quick video. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are doing well during this ammo shortage Christ. Um, I was going to go check out some ammo today, but I was editing this whole morning, so I didn't have time to go check it out. I think this Thursday, I'll go ahead and do an ammo update for you guys. So hopefully you guys can be patient, and hopefully you guys are finding ammo in your city, your state, wherever the case you may be. I know Alaska, we're doing, we're doing okay. Last week, we didn't get nothing at all. But I think this week here we should be getting some some fingers crossed. This Thursday, I'll, this Thursday I'll try to go and do a full run. I'll try to hit up the three big box store like what we did last time and see if we can find any ammo. So hope you guys follow along, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you guys are new, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.